We're looking at a live shot. Jim Calhoun still very angry with the officials. He has yet to address his team during this timeout. Just as we were going to the commercial break, Coach Calhoun was hit with a technical by Michael Stevens. And he started after Stevens and had to be told to move away quickly or he was facing another technical foul. And this is what he's mad about. Well, I guess there was a discard under there. That, it looked like he put his hands on his back, but I don't think he pushed. It's, it, was, it was really hard to tell, but just putting his hands on the back, if there are two hands on his back, I think that's an automatic call. And Mashuk trying to set a high screen. Walker handed it off to Mashuk for the dunk. Keeping the dribble alive and the hands ready. Not secure, but effective. He's involved in that foul number 35. Originally, it was renounced against Connecticut. And then the PA man changed it. Kemba Walker stays hot. And he's tied it for Connecticut at five apiece. UConn's been very poised. Push it. Look at this attack. And then Walker missed the throw down dunk, and he was thrown down by Kevin Jones. Boy, this kid, there you go, turning the corner after the ball screen by Majuk. Rebounded by Robinson, and the Huskies look to run. The lead is widening. Jerome Dyson. Gives them a 10-point lead. Bad shot can be the first pass in your opponent's fast break. That's a shot that Wellington Smith can make, but it was challenged, and Jerome Dyson has incredible speed in transition. Oh, and too much bounce by Joe Rizzola. Well, they've shot 15 free throws. West Virginia's attempted four. What a move by Stanley Robinson. This is where Stanley Robinson, at his best, a superior athlete. Oh, Kemba Walker has continued his outstanding play. At the break, Connecticut 37, West Virginia 28. Let's join Reese, Hubert, and Digger in the studio. It's the UPS Halftime Report. Sean, closely following UConn over the years, our researcher believes that the quickest timeout Jim Calhoun's ever called is eight seconds into the game. Unofficially, this is in the running for the quickest timeout technical combination, 47 seconds, and, and it really seemed to spark the Husky. Yeah, it really worked, Reese, because when you look at it, well, okay, you're down 5 nothing. so what? Your guys are flat. They're not into the game. It's a must win for UConn, so get teed up. And what's that do? It sparks a 9-0 run, and Calhoun knows this, and when you get this run going, yeah, it wasn't just 9-zip to go up 9-5. They end up going 23-13 with 10 left, and in the first half only, controlling the boards, West Virginia, only two offensive rebounds. This is the now generation. This is the generation now. A nice job trying to be a target. Robinson, after much consideration, took the three and made it. He's been in a three point shooting slump. Two for his last 12 coming into tonight. He has eight points tonight. Well, this guy, Devin Ebanks, can guard just about anybody in a basketball court. Dyson got away from him and bounces to the bucket for two. Well, Ebanks has guarded some awfully good players, but he got left in the dust there. What a great move by Jerome Dyson. He's one of those, uh, he refuses, but with a little spin, a little extra pizzazz, huh? And here in Hartford, Connecticut, once up by 15, now leads by three with 7.43 to go. Rebounding two, a factor. Robinson for three. Well, if he can do that, the upside is incredible. The shot clock. Dyson guarded by Ebanks. Power drive. And Robinson there to flush it. How about that? Walker the steal. That might do it. How about the 
ability to put it on the deck, Jay. The blue by, and all of a sudden it opens up. Offensive rebounding. The red shoes gathers and completes. Terrific read. He's been great down the stretch, hasn't he? Kimball Walker for the money. Jim Calhoun's seen a different UConn team that he saw earlier in the season. This team competes, plays together, and the unbridled enthusiasm of one Kemba Walker has been a huge difference in this team.